Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back once again to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is related to South Korea and the US. So basically the US President Biden and South Korean new president Yoon Suk Yeol have pledged further cooperation in many technologies including joint effort to combat North Korea. So while the US agreed to deploy physical weapon and hold military deal is necessary to defend the South against the North, the pair together vowed to significantly expand cooperation to confirm a range of cyber threats from the DPRK, including but not limited so, state-sponsored cyber attack. So this cooperation will include working group attended by the law enforcement and homeland security agencies from both nations. So I guess uh, US is just expanding himself to surround uh, Russia. That's what I believe. Whatever you feel, just comment it down. Now next news is uh, related to a new Infosec community campaign. So basically the researchers from threat intelligence firm Cyber. So they uncovered a mic malware campaign targeting the Infosec community. The expert discovered a post where a researchers were sharing a fake proof of concept which is called POC exploit. So they said POC exploit code for the RPC runtime library remote code execution flow which is uh, CB2022-26809 and uh, its severity score is 9.8. The malware disking used as a fake POC code was available on GitHub. So uh, upon further investigation, they discovered that the, its malware disking used as exploit. Similarly, they found a malicious sample that appears to be a fake POC of CB2022-24500. And you can read the post uh, that was published by the civil. Both the malicious samples were available on GitHub. And interestingly, both repositories belong to the same profile and indicating the possibility that threat actors might be hosting a malware campaign targeting infosec community so right now the tech like few years back uh, we always hearing the non tech person are getting targeted but right now the hackers that infosec people are also getting targeted because of some kind of uh, advanced phishing layers or some advanced camp so right now you are seeing like if you are a web application pen tested, then most probably you are looking for the CVs online. And what if, if you'll get a CVs with some malicious content. So for that instance, you need to learn source code analyzing and you should have to masters for learning a lot of uh, languages because a uh, few years back we called if you would like to be a hacker, you don't need to learn coding. But that was really wrong. If you'd like to be a cyber security expert or hacker then you need to understand codes how that how does it work so you need to learn coding as well so now let's proceed with the next news so next news is related to anonymous hacking group so basically the hacktivist group anonymous has announced on social media that it's launching a cyber war against the pro-russian group killnet which recently attacked european institution the news coming after anonymous hackers recently declared cyber war against Vladimir Putin's government following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, including leakage of 3,60,000 Russian Federation agencies' files in the process. So and on Twitter, and there's a Twitter handle called Your Anon One. So on Your Anon One account announced that the anonymous collectively is officially in cyber war against the pro-russian hackers group killnet so what do you feel anonymous this hacking group right right now the things that we are seeing anonymous is doing this anonymous is doing that so what do you feel this is the real anonymous group or this is something hawks created by the uh, U us government just uh, make it feel into the comment section now the last news is related to paypal so security researchers claim to have discovered an unpassed vulnerability in PayPal's money transfer service that could allow attackers to trick victims into unknowingly completing attackers directed transactions with a single click. So basically there was some sort of clickjacking kind of stuff. So basically clickjacking also called UI redressing and refers to a technique wherein an unwitting user is tricked into the clicking seamlessly in OCS web page element like button with the goal of downloading malware redirecting to the malicious website or disclosing sensitive information 
So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down any feedback. You may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.